Hi, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on a pet bed with an insert. I just got some scraps here that I'm going to work with, but you can do whatever colors you want. You can add colors. Um, so, um, usually it takes a couple of skeins of yarn, depending on how big you want it. Uh, you start off with your slip knot, and then you're going to be doing um, single crochets for the pet bed. Okay, do your slip knot, and you're just going to chain two more. So you have three total. One, two, three. Okay, put your finger through number three. Don't do anything with number two. And your first one, you're going to chain six single crochets. How you do that? Okay, you've got your first one, your fingers through the third one. Bring your yarn around the back and through like you were doing a knit stitch. Put that loop on your finger so you have two on your finger and then pull your working yarn through so you have one on your finger again. Okay, go back to that first hole. You're going to do it again. Bring it around from the back, put it on your finger, and then pull it through. That's two. Again, three, again, bring it around the back, pull it through, put it on your finger, and that's four. That's four. All right, four. All right, bring it through, and you, you might run into your knot. I just skip over it, but I make sure that the tail is pointing down. You're still working in that first hole. Okay. Get that little thing out of the way. Four. Five. And six. All right. And what you end up with is a little rosette like this. Okay. Um, hold on, let me, if I get one that kind of looks loose, I like to go back and straighten it up. Okay. So, go back one more. There's where it was loosey goose. All right. Five. I mean... You can do however many through the center, but six will get you there. I've done eight before, just to see, and it all works the same. All right, so there's your rosette. And you can see around the outside, there are these little Vs, okay? That's what you're gonna be working in, okay? Okay, so this was your sixth one. Your fingers on that. Chain one extra one. And you're going to go down. You're going to grab through the next V and go through both. You're going to do that twice in this same hole. Okay, so let's repeat. Back to where I was at. Okay, this was, I just did my sixth one through the hole. There's the one on my finger. I'm going to do one more, just chain it on. Then I'm going to go to this first pair that makes a V. I'm going to pull my yarn from behind, loop it through, and do that same single crochet. Put it on your finger and do that. Do that same set again. So you're doubling your amount by going through each V twice. Okay, so this is my second one. All right, now that's my second one. Now, um, forgot to say, some people like to use a marker to know where they started. So like a little clip, um, and you can literally use anything. Hold on. You can use a chip clip just so you know where you started. Okay, all right. Go to the next one. I'm gonna do 
one through that hole, go back to that same one, do another one. You're just doubling your amount, so you're doubling the diameter. Okay, I'm on the third set. I'm going to do two through that one. So I'm going to do one, two. Okay, going on the fourth one. I'm going to do two through it. So two single crochets. There's the first one. I'm going to go through the same hole. And there's the fourth one. I mean, the second one through the fourth hole. Go on to the fifth. I'm going to do two through that. So there's one. Single crochet. Same hole. Single crochet. Okay. Just keep doing it get to get back to your stitch marker. It looks like I may, when I went back to fix my loose one, I may have added an extra one on, so I may have seven, but it legit doesn't matter. It's whatever you want to do. All right, and you can tell where I've doubled it, okay? So I do need to do this one. So I did do, I added one, so I have actually seven, but it's gonna work the same way. So now I started with seven around. Now I'm going to have 14 because I've doubled. Okay. Back to my clip. Get rid of the clip. All right, now. So right now the diameter is a little over eight. I'm going to do it one more time. Um, but this one's a little different. Okay. Again, there's your ending one. You're going to do a, a single chain on it. I'm going to do one in this first one, two in the second. One, two, one, two. So I'm going to go this first one, and I'm just going to do one single crochet. All right, then I go to my next set, my next V, and I'm going to do two. Two in the same hole. Okay, and when I go to my third set, I'm going to go back to one. So it's going to go one, two, one, two, one, two. There's one. All right, let me put my clip on it. And when I get back around, I'll show you the next step. Okay, I finished. I've done one, two, three. Um, it's only about 12 inches, so I'm going to keep going. Um, I'm going to do one more round. For this one, there's my end. I'll chain one on. It's gonna go one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. So I will do the beginning and then I'll be back to show you how to do the sides. All right so I've done it around again I did my first one then I did two on every one then I did one two one two one two this one I did one one two one one two one one two if you want to keep making it bigger you just follow that pattern. So the next row would be one, 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 two, one, 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 two. Then the next one, 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 two, and so forth. Um, I think I'll just keep this one. This is about 16 inches. Now, um, if you're going to do a pet bed insert, this is where you would stop because the insert would be the same size as the base that you're putting it in. So this is my final one. All you do is do one more 
single crochet, all right? And then to taper it off, this is how I've been doing it. I bring it under, okay, then I have my two, I put the new one in it, and then I pull it across. All right, so I'll show you again. So I did a single crochet. I start to do a single crochet, but instead I just loop it under. Then I still have my working yarn. I'm gonna put it through the middle of this. And if I was stopping, I would have this cut off. I would loop it through and then tie it on and that would be your circle for your the bottom of your, this would be your insert, okay? But, um, so you'll wanna do this for your insert uh, and this bottom, you can kind of cinch it up. And what I do to close the hole, I don't know if you can see, there's a little hole. I have my tail, I just loop it through like every other loop, like so. And then I cinch it up, loop it through another one, cinch it up, and then it closes that hole. Can you see that? Closes the hole and then loop it through one more, and then I would sew this tail somewhere here. So I will sew that piece on there. And so this would be your, this would be an insert, but I'm gonna continue and go back to where I was at. Okay, this is where I stopped. Okay, now you want to create the walls. Go, this was, a. This was the one, one, and then two in this, and this was this. I'm not gonna chain on anymore at all. Okay, if I look at these chains, the bottom one, the bottom chain, is all I'm gonna work in to get it to turn up. So I'm gonna grab the back. So instead of going through both, I'm just going through the back loop, and I'm just doing singles. Okay, I'm doing, see these? There's your set. I'm doing the bottom one. You're gonna go all the way around till you get back to the beginning. Again, if you wanna put your clip where you started so you know, do that. So bottom all the way around. Okay, so we've gone around and done the outside. So now it's time to go up. All right, there's my clip. I am at the end. Um, you can do it however you want. I normally burn my yarn when I do blankets. However, Because dogs and cats have claws, toenails, and things, I do usually tie them. Speaking of that, my dog wants out. Okay, get going. So I tie them together in a knot. Alright, to do a knot. And I pull it both directions. All right, and then you're going to trim it. Snug. I've done it both ways, but if I can tie it, I usually do. Okay. So we've gone around and we're gonna go start going up. You're just gonna do single crochets through both of the loops like this, just one on each one. All the way around so you get back to your start. Okay, so one single crochet through each of the V's, and then I'll be back. Okay, now that you've done that, you can see how it's starting to curl up, <clears throat> and that's because of that stitch that you did where you just went in the back. That makes it turn up. All right, so let's say, all right, I've used a skein of ivory, and maybe I wanna start a new color. I'm back at my stitch, the beginning, and maybe I want to add and start to do a mushroom one. Okay, I'm at the end. 
You're going to bring this through all the way through to the inside, <clears throat> the inside. Then you're going to tie it or burn it. Tie on your new color. Okay. Tie on your new color. Okay. So, you're going to do that. You're going to come up and you're just going to make a, you're going to slip over it. Then you're going to begin your new go around all right and then that will make your transition fairly smooth depending on how high you want to make your pet bed that depends how many times you go around if you're gonna put an insert in, you'll probably need to make your walls a little bit taller because it will raise it up some in the middle. So keep going around with the mushroom and I'll meet you back at the beginning. Okay, I'm coming around with the mushroom. So here's where you've gotta get creative. I have to kind of blend it in because obviously when you go around, it raises it up. So here's what I suggest. So for it to visually look like it runs into that, instead of going right here, I'm gonna go two down, like this. Pull it up and through, okay? And then I'm probably gonna go right here and do another stitch like this. Just trying to kind of blend them together since you're changing colors. Okay. All right. Now, I would like to do on the top some white. So I'm going to pull this through. Cut it off. And that was Bernat Blanket Big Mushroom. This is the mushroom. I tied on white because I want to do a last row in white. So I will pull it through and then just continue all the way around. Same thing, doing white. And I'll be back with you in a second. All right, I'm approaching the end. So I want to check on the outside and it looks like it'll look the best if I go right here to do my last <clears throat> crochet. All right, but now I need to taper off. So I'm just gonna go do a loop, put it through here, then go through the center of the next V with just and pull it all the way through. And then just, I just pull it through that. Okay, and then I will cut it and then wind it through and tie it. The transitions are the hardest. Normally what I do is just end each one and then just do a border because I only do a two color. So you may want to play with it um, see what works best for you. Wind it in, following the line that I already have. Okay. And then I will, I'll probably attach it actually down here. I'll sew it to that right there. So I'll sew that right there. Okay. 
you kind of move it around. That transition piece is what helps it make the bowl appearance. Okay. So then that insert, like I said, is just this middle piece, but you cast it off. But then you could have like a tricolor. And then if it were me, I would probably make the insert mushroom because it's going to get the dirtiest. So I think it takes, like I used probably a third of a skein of white. I will use probably a whole skein of mushroom and a whole skein of the vintage ivory. And this measurement is... If I measure the top, it's a good size. It's like a 21 inch. The inside is about 16. Now, some people do this. If you want the sides to be higher, if you turn it inside out, you do this. This will make your sides higher, but I don't think it looks quite as nice, but it works, okay? So, I need to, um, I'll sew this piece here. I gotta sew this piece and make my insert. So, I will probably keep it this way. All right, okay. That's how you do a pet bed. Again, you can make it as high as you'd like. Remembering that the insert's gonna raise it up a little bit. I mean, it's pretty cushy without the insert. I just liked the insert because then you could wash it multiple times. I would keep the insert one skein, one color, so there's no knots or fused pieces of yarn, and it'll wash better, okay? and made an insert. I used two colors because I was just using up yarn that I had. So it fits right in there. So I stopped just like I made the bed, but I didn't do that last one where you go around here. I just stopped and tapered it off. So that's the pet bed and that's how much lip you'd have on it. So you may want to go up one or two more, but I have had people say they want it low. I mean, I just do whatever they want. So um, tuck it in there and then you can just take this out and wash it. I did want to say it is much easier if you do it all one color or do it all one color, end it, and then just do a border trim of some color rather than trying to layer it on it just gets tricky when you're trying to transition it because you're always going to have a spot like mine's here where it doesn't look as nice because you've had to blend in two colors um, no one's ever complained about it but I normally do you know either I switch it before I go up the sides or I go all the way to here one color and then just add a trim piece. Um, it's easier to layer it on the flat part like this to make it look nice. Okay.